Have you ever wanted to know more about what's going on beneath the waves? Maybe you're interested in new research, but scientific publications can be hard to get your hands on without professional memberships and really high subscription fees. And even if you can find one for free, some of the words they use can be impossible to pronounce, let alone understand. If you want to learn more about the world of fisheries without getting an advanced degree first, welcome to Fish Geekery. Even if you're not really interested now, you're still welcome. Maybe we can get you hooked by the time we're done. So, what is a fish? This may seem like an easy question, and as far as most people are concerned, it really is. I say fish, and the picture that pops into your head probably looks like this, or this, or even this if you're lucky. But how many of us would picture this, or this, or this? According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a fish is any of numerous cold-blooded, strictly aquatic, craniate vertebrates that include the bony fishes and usually the cartilaginous and jawless fishes, and that have typically an elongated, somewhat spindle-shaped body terminating in a broad caudal fin, limbs in the form of fins when present at all, and a two-chambered heart by which blood is sent through the thoracic gills to be oxygenated. Yay, industry jargon! So let's break that down. Basically, they're shaped like this, with fins at the back end, gills to pull oxygen out of the water, skulls and spinal columns, though those may be made out of either bone, like ours, or cartilage, the stuff that makes your nose and ears kind of stiff, but also kind of flexible. They have hearts with two chambers to pump their blood around and bring that oxygen from the gills to their muscles and organs. Fins instead of arms, and obviously, they live in water. Fish are also cold-blooded, while warm-blooded human bodies tend to stay somewhere around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or 37 degrees Celsius. Fish bodies are usually about the same temperature as the water they live in. Oh, and just so we're clear, none of these are fish. There are thousands of species of fish throughout the world, from the tiny pit of cypress, measuring only 7.9 millimeters, or 0.31 inches long, to the massive whale shark, measuring up to 12.7 meters, or 41 and a half feet long, with unofficial reports of even larger ones. Some species live only in salt water, like oceans or seas. Other species live only in fresh water, like lakes, ponds, and rivers. And some species will go from one to the other and back again throughout the course of their life. Still other species prefer brackish water, where fresh water and salt water mix, like the estuaries at the mouths of rivers. Some species need their water clean and pure, while others can live in what's basically watery mud. The variety of fish life on this planet is staggering, and we're still discovering new species. We'll be getting to know the residents of the world's waterways through species focuses, news updates, research summaries, and even field trips. Well, I mean, once the ice melts. If you have any questions or comments, or would like to get in contact with us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or of course, in the comments below. Thanks for joining us.